the week that was and the week ahead. The current market is what is often referred to as a melt up market. Melt up markets are usually late laggard buying and they don't turn until there is some kind of catalyst. The common question is, well, what is the potential catalyst this time? Well, if you knew what the potential catalyst was, it probably wouldn't be a catalyst. So understand these are very unusual pos um, positions in the market, unusual atmosphere, but it's just a, a melt up market and short term momentum traders are buying every break. Last weekend's commentary was entirely wrong. The question, how do you protect yourself in these situations? The answer, the same way I do. Always focus on developing value. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday delivered higher value. The best guidance for a short-term trader is to trade directionally with developing value. Even though what I thought would happen last weekend didn't, if you followed developing value, you would have been all right. Time to take short-term inventory. Too many traders can't resist fading developing value. In markets like this, you, you very often think it can't go any higher. You short it and you get taken out. Stay with developing value and take inventory to find out if you have developed a habit of fading these markets. The nuanced day last week was Thursday. Did you notice the daily high slash new all time high occurred during extended hours following CPI? Highs occurring during extended hours have lower odds of enduring over time. Did you also notice that Thursday's final structure looked like the letter B? The letter B is an indication of liquidation rather than liquidation and new money selling. The nuance is that simple liquidation unaccompanied by new selling tends to create extremely short inventory. Friday's early rally was likely triggered by short covering with momentum traders piling on. This took short-term inventory back to being excessively long. Once the all-time extended hours high was taken from Thursday, the upward advance was over and short-term traders returned to liquidation. This volatility is an indication of very late, late weak hands momentum buying. For Monday, focus on downward continuation or lack thereof relative to Friday's late break. Failure to see downward continuation continues the advance. Any meaningful downside continuation will find acceptance below the breakout of July 1st. I'm sorry, July 5th. If you look at the graphic in front of you, on the left-hand side, you will see that the graphic basically covers the market from uh, July 3rd through the 12th. You see down in the bottom, the July 5th upside breakout. That's where the market shows any real continuation relative to Friday's late break. That would be the initial downside target. Okay, have a great week. Relax and enjoy the trading. Thanks.